Plenum 2.0. Okay, welcome to another episode of Gen 5 Rustin Mods in Cape George. This is the LS3 we're putting in the C3. We've got a couple issues with the wiring harness. Not quite long enough, so we're going to have to pull the engine back up just a tad to loosen up the connections. We can't make our um, map sensors a little shy here, a couple inches. So we're going to be doing that here in a minute news is that the engine fits in really nice we do have some interference with the power steering pump right down here so these are the wellwood six piston brakes with global west we're using global west a arms up and upper and lower along with viking double adjustable coilovers Okay, we're jacking up the engine just a little bit to relieve the pressure off of the harness in the back so we can pull it forward enough to make the connections. Yeah, I think it's still pinching it. Well, I just have to be able to pull it forward a little bit. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Then, yeah, pull it forward just a tad. I used the big comedies and... There you go. Muscle it up. Oh, perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Drop her down. Okay, we got to go back a little bit. So, this harness here, let's make sure that we got enough free play over here. Yeah. Okay. This is why I pushed it back. You're going to push it back? Yeah. Yeah, they still, so we still need to go down. Yeah. I'll get, I'll get the jack in a minute. Okay, stop. Okay, now I'm gonna jack it up. A little bit more. You got to go back a little bit. Okay, now is when I grab my two by four. Oh yeah, just about there. See, now if you hold that right there, I'll drop it down a little bit. Right here, then. That's not this. ETC. Um. You see, this is the. EC, ETC right here, electronic throttle control. This is a MAP sensor. Yeah, that's a ma MAP, so we put that in the intake. So, in case you don't know, because we didn't know, this is the MAP jumper. There's a jumper in here. We didn't know this piece existed, so it connects from your MAP. There's several different MAPs, MAP 1, 2, and 3, depending on your, your supercharge or not. So this rail goes underneath, the wiring goes underneath here, out of the way. We've got enough room in the back now, we lifted all that up and out. And where are we going to put this thing? <laughs> yeah, that's... yeah, we're going to figure out some place for that. And, um, I might try to route it into one of those access And we've got some slight interference right here with the Zerk fitting with the... Uh, heater hose that goes right over here that's pretty straightforward and that's about it okay so here are our valve covers which fit perfectly and what's your final words today Kyle uh, can't wait to hear it fire up. We're getting close. It's going to be great. Yeah. 